Hi guys, it's your girl Fadi. Thanks for tuning in for another video and let's get to it. If you're here for the first time, hello and welcome to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for tuning in. I love and appreciate you. So guys, today I am doing a try on haul styling video. I have not done one of these in what feels like a lifetime so I'm really excited to sit down today and show you guys some of the pieces that I got from PLT. Guys I've got a wedding coming up soon and it's also my birthday in like five days so I did a major shopping spree or I had a major shopping spree and I'm not gonna lie pretty little thing came through. They had some cute bits. I think I've found exactly what I'm looking for so I'm so excited to show you guys these cute little bits and I know I said I was going to stop saying cute so much so we're going to find some other words to say today but yeah let's get into it. So first up we have this gorgeous gorgeous chocolate brown dress. Guys this dress is absolutely stunning. I've bought it before but from Misguided but the size was a little bit too big so I returned it um, and then I decided I bought this one from Pretty Little Thing and I got size 14. Also all the items that I got today will either be size 14 or size 16. I'm on a weight loss journey so I was a bit ambitious with some of the 14s but um, yeah all the sizes will be in the description box below so yeah this one is a size 14 and as you guys will see from the video it's a stunning stunning dress don't get me wrong but it's just a little bit too tight when it comes to the bit under the waist here it's just way too, too revealing you can see in between my legs and I'm not that type of girl I'm not wearing that kind of dress out <laughs> so yeah it's gonna have to go back but I really really like it so I think I'm just gonna return it and then get the size 16 um and then I might actually I was when I put this on I actually thought this might be the birthday dress so if I have time I think I'll return it and order it again in the size 16 and then try it on because it's gorgeous like you can't go wrong with brown it's such a nice color and even the material itself is just so nice. I wore a like a body shaper underneath just to hold everything in and the material is comfortable it doesn't feel too tight like if you've got the right size and let's say you were going out for dinner you wouldn't feel as if like you wouldn't feel conscious or like you know your clothes are too tight or you can't eat too much it just it's a gorgeous gorgeous dress so I definitely am going to return this one and get the correct size yeah but what do you guys think let me know in the comments are we are we feeling it or are we not so next up we've got two different items so first of all i've got this black halter knit top with um sort of like frill design i guess and i decided to pair it up with these cargo trousers which which are here so both are size 16 um so yeah, I decided to pair them together. So I've got these cuffed cargo trousers, which they look really nice. On the waist, they fit quite right. But on the stomach area, there's a lot of space in there. They're kind of giving a baggy look. Now, because I'm a bigger girl, I don't know if baggy kind of really looks good on me because then I feel like it almost just makes me look even bigger. It's not really giving what it's supposed to give. But at the same time, I do like the outfit. So I bought this because I'm going to Zim Link Up next weekend. Oh, I found the Bluetooth remote. I'm going to Zim Link Up next weekend for my birthday. So I need to find a cute outfit. So I was thinking of wearing a halter neck top um initially I was gonna wear a skirt but then I saw the cargo trousers and I was like hmm let me try I'm not really someone who wears trousers to be honest I'm more of like a jeans joggies skirts kind of person I don't really ever wear trousers because I just I don't think they look that great on me like I don't know but I do like these I do like the cargos and I do like the color so I'm very tempted to keep these because I think I can find something else to style them, style them with I think um with just with this top it's maybe not the right outfit but maybe with like a bodysuit or something else that could definitely be a shout so yeah I would buy these trousers though because like the quality feels good the color feels good they've got pockets and you can't go wrong with a little bit of cuff and then the halter neck top itself, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. This is cute. I can wear that with a skirt. We can make it look like a dress. Like you can, you can play around with this a lot. And I think it was quite cheap as well. So I'm definitely gonna keep that little halter neck top. And I'll probably wear this to Ama Piano, eh, not Ama Piano, to the Zim Link Up, and then find um, a different bottom to wear with it. But yeah, that is the next outfit. 
Now for this next item, oh, guys, I absolutely fell in love with this dress when I saw it. So I obviously had to order. Unfortunately, I was a little bit ambitious with the sizing and the dress did not fit. Um, I, still, I, I still tried it on and you guys will see in the video that um, I'm able to zip it up most of the way but there's just a bit at the top where I can't quite zip it up which is a shame because it's just it's such a gorgeous dress like it's chiffon material and it's got um like ruching ruffle that kind yeah ruching that kind of vibe and that kind of look just is perfect for like if you're a little bit bigger if you're a little bit curvier and you just really want to give your body a nice shape this dress that type of material or that type of design is perfect for it and I love as well that it's got the straps that are like just adjustable so you can tie them as loose or as tight as you want which means you can play about with the dress a little bit and have a bit more flexibility depending on your chest size so yeah I was bummed that this dress didn't fit however I loved the dress so much when I saw it online that I did buy it in three different colors so I've got um I've got another two colors that I'll show you and for the other dresses I got a size 16 so those ones fit thankfully so you guys will see that in a little bit um but yeah this dress is gorgeous I would so recommend it like if I, if I had time to lose weight then I would definitely keep it but my birthday is in five days four days four days and then I've got my friend's wedding in about two or three weeks maybe I could lose weight for that but um yeah this one is gonna have to go back but I think I'm I think I'll just return it and then buy the bigger size because it is it is really really nice so yeah guys let me know what you think are you feeling this one or no so on a more positive note like I said guys I loved the dress so much that I decided to buy it in three different colors so this is the second color it's like a, a green lime I really liked lime green and um, so yeah the dress is gorgeous so at the back you've got the zip that goes all the way pretty much to like the top of your just at the bottom of your neck not your, not the bottom of your neck but like mostly up your back I don't know how I'm trying to describe that <laughs> yes and then at the front it's got the ruching just on there and on the side as well so guys this dress is absolutely gorgeous and honestly I think I have found the winner I think this is the dress that I'm gonna wear to the wedding because it's a summer wedding so I feel like get, wearing something that's like a bright color summery that is the perfect kind of vibe and the dress feels comfortable as well like when I was wearing it I didn't feel restricted I didn't feel like you know things are too tight or I'm gonna feel uncomfortable dancing about I don't feel like um I don't feel like the straps or anything are gonna fall down so this is gorgeous 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 and PLT they did that they did something when they re released this dress so I am absolutely loving it girls get your own get your own <laughs> i forgot to mention that the dress also has this kind of under wiring um at the front so yeah it kind of gives a little bit of support so you could wear a bra i guess but it would need to be a pretty low bra so that you're not um revealing too much not exposing what you got on underneath but yeah let me know what you guys think do you like it or do you love it so next up we have this dark green um sort of yeah dark green colored dress now I was really ambitious with the sizing for this one and this one did not fit like I, I didn't even try it on do you know that way when you see something and you're like that's not gonna fit so I didn't even bother to try it on this one is a size 14 the color is emerald green and um, so yeah, it's that type of chiffon material so there's not really much stretch to it like ugh. the dress is the dress you cannot stretch it if you don't fit it ain't for you so <laughs> to be fair this is probably one of the dresses that I didn't like that much so I was I wasn't too disappointed that it didn't fit I would have been more disappointed if it had been some of the other dresses that I really loved but yeah no this one was a no so it is going straight back but the color is nice though I think this would be nice for like um an evening wedding 
So yeah, if you like it, you can get your own. So I guess this one's probably a true to size. So definitely get the right size and don't be ambitious. So next we have this number here. Now this dress, when I saw this, this was just giving wedding vibes. So I saw this and I thought this is like the perfect wedding outfit. Like it's just, it's just wedding, like wedding gift. That is exactly what it's giving. So yeah, I like the dress. It's cute, it's comfortable, it's floaty. So if you feel maybe a little bit conscious, if you've got a bit of tummy, or bigger hips or whatever this dress just hangs down and is loose so everything is kind of covered but you still look good at the same time so yeah I'm feeling this I like the color as well I like the the flowers the design and I would definitely wear this but I just feel like as much as it's a nice dress I don't think it's the one for me I don't think it's the one that I'm gonna wear to the wedding so I'm sort of still debating do I want to keep this dress and wear it for another occasion or does it go back but I feel like as it's wedding season, I could definitely get away with wearing this at a wedding or even like a sort of like a fancy afternoon tea, that kind of vibe. Even to church actually, that could be a shout. So yeah, what do you guys think? Are we feeling it or are we not? It also has the belt as well. Um, so you can tie, the belt isn't like tied to the dress. So you can tie it at the front, you can tie it at the back, you can tie it at the side, um, however you want to style it. And then it's also got the little belt buckles. So that might be a little bit annoying for you if you don't like that, but I guess you can always get creative and cut them off if you really want to so yeah what are we thinking do we like this dress or do we not now guys this dress when i saw her online i also fell in love i feel like i've said that about a few dresses but as this one she was cute she was really cute she's kind of given sophisticated but fun like we've got the collar we've got the long sleeves we've got the I don't know is it lace is it mesh we've got some chiffon going on we've got yeah we've got the lace going on here there's there's a lot going on and it's a cute dress but she's very short she is a very very short now I don't think you'd be exposing yourself too much if you wore this one simply because at the bottom it's like um it's fitted you'll see in the video it's fitted so it's not one of those dresses where like it'll be blowing about and people can see under your skirt you're not gonna see anything but she was just a little bit little little bit too short for me also I just didn't really like the fit I think if everything was tight and right then I would have liked the fit but it just it wasn't for me like it's a cute dress it's a shame because it's a cute dress and I did think that this one could have been the birthday dress but after I tried her on Yes, it's a no. It's a no. She's going back. But I think if you were a little bit smaller than me or if you had sort of like a more defined figure, I feel like my body's just kind of straight. If you had like an hourglass figure, I think it would be much nicer. But yeah, I just wasn't really feeling it on me. So this one, she's going to have to go back. One thing I will say about that dress though, as much as as she's just not the one for me, she does feel a bit expensive. Like she feels like she's good quality, so I wouldn't be mad at it. If it looked nicer on me, then I definitely would keep it. You're not getting like a cheap dress type of vibe. It feels good quality, it feels a bit expensive, so you're in good hands if you do decide to buy this one. So for this next dress, next dress i bought it with the intention that this could possibly be the birthday dress however now that i've tried it on this one will not be the birthday dress <laughs> it's just it's do you know what this is a little bit different from anything i'd normally get i don't really get buy sequiny things and um yeah it just it wasn't for me even when i saw it online i was i was like in two minds i was like should i buy it should i not i was like this could either go one of two ways it could come out really really nice surprisingly or it could look a little bit rubbish and to be honest i wasn't really feeling it i wasn't feeling the sleeves so much so maybe if it was just like a bandeau dress without the sleeves it might have been a little bit better but also the sequins i just wasn't feeling them um like the the fit of the dress, the material itself, it does feel nice, it's comfortable, it's fitted but it's not tight. See if it was just like a plain dress without the sequins and without the arms, well it wouldn't be this dress but it would, I, I wouldn't be mad at it because at the back you've got some ruching, not yet yeah, the back as well as on the sides as well so it gives you that nice figure. Um, 
So yeah, I wouldn't be mad at it if it was just black without sequins or maybe not necessarily necessarily even black, maybe just a different colour. But yeah, she wasn't really giving what she was supposed to give. So this one is a no from me. Now this dress is the the brown, is it brown or purple, like dark purple? The chocolate, yeah, so the brown version of the green dress that I showed you guys earlier, which didn't fit. So again, this was the exact same size, a size 14, and I was, just, I was just a little bit too ambitious, and unfortunately, yeah, this one did not fit, so I didn't even try it on either. So that one is going back, and yeah, like I said, I wasn't absolutely in love with the dress, but now that I'm looking at it, it was cute. It was cute. But yeah, it just wasn't for me. But that was going for a wedding guest vibes with this one. But I guess it was not meant to be. So that one is going back. I don't think I'll bother ordering another size off it just to try it on. I'm just going to leave it anyway. Especially since I found the dress that I do like. So she's gone back guys now this dress yeah this red number this took me a good maybe 15 minutes to put on to figure out i had to put it on take it off put it on take it off and put it on again because the complications that are going on like there is there is a sleeve at the top and then another sleeve but it's not just a simple sleeve it's a cross sleeve but then the cross sleeves kind of like go like it's hard to even explain it but you guys will see in the video but it's a complicated dress because then you've also got these these things that are tied at the front so you're like stepping in the dress and like doing all sorts and then there's this bit at the back there's there's just a lot going on but do you know what i quite liked this dress i liked the color it's very bold very bright it's giving grown and sexy but yeah i don't think it's the one for me i do like the dress itself but when it came to the front bit there where we were showing the cleavage area here you have to be confident in that one <laughs> in that area and i'm not that brave i am not that brave but the dress itself it's gorgeous it fits really nicely the material is um fitted but then it's got like a slit at the back so you can walk comfortably but um like when it's going up your legs it is like fitted so it gives you like that nice shape and let's talk about this color this red you will be standing out you will you will not go unnoticed in that room that you're in so i'm definitely feeling it i've bought this dress before in black but um the black one i think was a bit longer so i returned to that one and then i thought let me get the red one and see how that fits so i do like this dress um it's just a little bit too bold for me i'm just not that bold so i think this one might go also go back but at the same time i'm contemplating keeping it i don't know what do you guys think do we keep this one this one i don't think i'd wear to a wedding definitely not this would be a possible birthday dinner birthday whatever night out kind of outfit or like a date night type of outfit so I don't know. So yeah, I'm holding it like this. But actually, when you wear the dress, it's like that. So you see where it gets complicated. So at the front, you've got the... Cr no, at the front, yeah, you've got crossover. And then at the back, it's just straight. But I don't know. Do you guys like it? And then you've also got these bits. Um, these bits where you can tie, tie them or loosen them or whatever you want to do. So because of the material of the dress, I think it does give you like a nice figure. It hugs you in all the right places, but it's not, it's not too tight. It's not baggy or loose or anything like that. It just kind of fits really nicely. So I do like this one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep her or if she's going back. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it or is she, is she going back? So at this point, I think you guys pretty much know what my favorite color is. <laughs> so yeah, when I saw this dress online, now she had potential. She had serious, serious, serious potential. I tried the dress on today and it just, it did not fit. To be fair, I probably could have tried on I could have tried harder to make the zip fit but I was putting it on on my own and the zip is on this side so it's kind of difficult to to kind of do it on your own and it's one of those dresses that's got the sort of gel at the top because it's um because it's what's the word it's 
strapless so if i had tried to put it on from the front and zip it up at the front and twist it it just it wasn't really doing that so this one unfortunately it did not fit which was a shame because i bought this one with the intention as well of possibly being a birthday dress you know it's just cute with the little slit on the side i can't even remember if i filmed me trying this dress on to show you guys but it just it wasn't really sitting well and um, the sleeves they're cute they're like attached here so you can't really you cannot unattach them <laughs> but yeah this one could have been a serious possibility but it just didn't fit and if I was to go a size up it would just be too loose it would be too loose and in all the areas so it wouldn't really look the part which is a shame so yeah, I guess I'm either going to have to lose a little bit of weight or skip out on this one. But what do you guys think? Are you feeling it or not? I don't know. Like, this type of shiny material is not usually something that I would go for, I don't think. But I did like this dress. It was cute. However, this part here, the... I don't know, like the chest area, wasn't really giving. So I think you'd need to maybe take a bit of time to kind of figure out how you want it to sit. Because it's just kind of giving... Hmm. Yeah, it's not the best type of look there. But the dress itself is cute. It's another short one. I think I need to learn to move away from the short dresses because I'm just, I'm getting way too old for that. So yeah, this one, I think she's gonna have to go back. As cute as she is, it's a no. Now guys, so for this dress, I actually saw someone on Instagram wearing it and I thought it looked really nice on her. So I thought, do you know what? Let me, let me buy the dress and see how it fits. So this one, the velvet number here. This one was different, okay? So this one has got the shoulder pads here, which, which yeah, added that extra bit of bulkiness. Now, I don't know what I was thinking getting something with sh with shoulder pads in it because I'm already quite like big up here, bigger chest and all that. So it just kind of made everything look a little bit bigger at the top. And unfortunately, the, the what do you call them? The shoulder pads are not like removable. I suppose you could cut them off if you wanted the dress, but I don't know how that would then look because then it would be a little bit loose over there. Um, the dress itself at the like once we get over the once we get over the shoulder pads, it's cute. I like it. I like the the way it fits. I like that it's got the ruching here. Again, it's sort of like it's nice at your waist. It kind of brings your waist in, and then at your legs, it just kind of gives you like a nice shape. So I was digging this, and velvet is also different. Like velvet is. Velvet is an interesting one. Velvet, I feel, I feel like I, I associate velvet with like Christmas parties, Christmas time, winter, that kind of vibe. But I don't know. Could you wear velvet in summer? I guess you could if you want. And then at the sleeves, we've also got like a slit over here on the arms. So she's cute. I like her. And like, this is nice because you're covered up. You know, you don't necessarily need to be wearing anything revealing to feel like good or to feel confident. You can actually still be covered up and look really nice. And I also like that, yeah, it's just sort of open at the front here. Sort of like kind of on the side having the having the slit so i do like this one but i think it's just it's not the dress for me it's probably a bit too dark for a like an afternoon wedding maybe if it was an evening wedding you could probably get away with that and then for my birthday dinner i think it's just it's not quite the one but the material feels good again this feels like quite thick material doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel like you got it from some of the sort of other cheaper shops i was going to name some names but why would i do that and block my own blessings so so yeah it doesn't feel cheap at all and I think yeah if you're sort of maybe if you're feeling a bit conscious about your body and you kind of don't want something that's too figure hugging this could be the perfect shout so go check it out and see if you like it or not and like I said all the links to all the dresses and all the items in today's video will be in the description box below now last but not least guys this this was my other favorite dress i feel like i've said that for a lot but really and truly there has been only two or three dresses that i've like that i've been like this is my absolute favorite this being one of them so i told you guys that i obviously got this dress here in three different colors i got the black one i got the green one and i got the pink one and i am really feeling the pink i feel like pink is just so bold i'm usually just wearing black as you can see black bedding like I just you can't go wrong with black black is such a nice color and that's usually my sort of colors I play it safe the blacks the browns the grays 
but for my birthday I feel like I should go all out you know get something a little bit bold a little bit bright a little bit different it's almost summertime so why not so yeah I saw this one this gorgeous 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 pink I realized that I'm a really girly girl like pink is kind of a bit of me I was cleaning out this morning and I was looking at all my towels all of them are pink all the bathroom stuff is pink like it's just pink 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 but anyway yes I got this pink dress here and as you guys will see in the video the way it fits is just so nice and I love the like I'm so in love with the ruching and the way it just like it sits on my body it gives me that nice figure because like I said earlier I feel like my body is a little bit straight I don't really have the the best of shapes so anything that I can do to kind of give me give an illusion of like a nicer figure I'm absolutely here for it so I am definitely feeling this dress I love that the straps are totally adjustable I can wear it however way I want um I that's got like the wire bit in the middle here so that gives you a little bit of support and uh, the color is just gorgeous so I am excited to be wearing this out in Birmingham next weekend <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Are you feeling this dress or are you feeling this dress? Like it's got chiffon material. It's a little bit thin but I don't think anything is revealed underneath and because um because the dress is quite low the front I don't know if you can really wear a bra with it or maybe you'd have to wear like a strapless bra or like a bra that's quite low like a balcony one that type of vibe so I'm gonna figure that out but I just love this dress I got this one in a size 16 and she is gorgeous she is gorgeous she is definitely staying so yeah I'm gonna figure out what shoes and accessories I'm gonna wear this one with and that's gonna be the look for my birthday dinner so yeah and that is everything for the video guys I hope you enjoyed it let me know what pieces are you feeling and what pieces are you not and if there's any other stores that you that you would recommend or you want me to try on let me know because I'm always looking for places to find some good outfits for like birthdays weddings that type of stuff so please drop the, drop your suggestions in the comments below and you might actually be helping somebody else out but as always thanks for tuning in don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you enjoyed the video tell a friend to tell a friend i'll see you guys in my next one